you on your head, and it's mine! No, I don't think so, pal! Okay, okay, you got me. Correct! Decision! Come on! Road trip! Come on, pal, don't do this. Just, just let me turn myself in, please. No can do. I'm a dedicated servant of justice, my friend. Count yourself lucky I haven't trust you in duct tape and thrown you in the trunk. Although, now I've said it out loud, I kind of like the idea. Please, they're saying I could get five years. Five years! Whoa, whoa, hang on, remind me. What did you do again? You're giving off a sex criminal vibe. What? No! They're just trying to charge me with check fraud, money laundering, workers' compensation fraud. That's crazy. It was just a few payroll taxes, for Christ's sake. Okay, well, I'm listening now. You had me at money laundering. What's your play? It isn't really a play. You create a shell company, take out a minimal workers' comp insurance policy, then charge subcontractors a fee to use that company as a dummy paper trail for their undocumented workers. I'm just a middleman, really. Whoa, 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 I take it all back. You are officially the most boring criminal alive. Nah, jail's the place for you for sure, for the learning experience alone. What were you doing skulking around that quarry like a common toad anyway? You actually wouldn't find a toad in the quarry, it's too dry. Whoa! Are you getting smart with me, admin criminal? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, ju I'm just really nervous. Question my questions again. I'll slit your throat and let you gurgle the answer. Am I making myself clear? Uh, one of the mining contractors I worked with said I could lie low there, okay? I've been sleeping in a bulldozer. You know, you're really not what I pictured. I've seen those bounty hunter shows on TV. I was expecting some washed up 80s pro wrestler type, but you're much, much scarier. How you been, Trevor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. Room for one more? No, I think there's room for a little one. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, rude, vulnerable, but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. Uh, less of the old, please. I'm in the prime of my life. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years? Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been hurting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Yeah, okay. And what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big luck. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride. No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yeah, all the thousand you gave me? What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shore. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. 
This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe! Look! Would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. What? Just shout it! I'm just some random guy not called Brian. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think that went? He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, safe for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young. I'm still exploring my mind, discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back. When you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, hitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go. I'll text you later. Don't tell me. Brian? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign. I think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Can't promise anything. I jest, of course. You're horrible. Yes, there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Are you Brian? Calm down, I don't even know the guy. Come on then, Brian, you pussy. You're not even good looking. This motherfucker clean. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes.
too damn. This shit. Okay, that ought to do it. Hey, L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Who it is, Larry Topper. Decision! Come on! Road trip! Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what... What do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh, hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feed. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male company, huh? What'd you think? Uh-huh, uh-huh. No way. 
I'll take the jail time. Don't stand on ceremony! Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. of Jackson Skinner. He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. That must be my girl. Hey, what up, girl? You won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. Ten bucks. You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Dom got a lot to answer for.
So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Hey, get in, we running late. Farted. Come on, that's disgusting. Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! <gasps> Blame it on the city! Attention passengers! Please hold on to your fucking seats! Stop the bus, you maniac! Hey, I thought you needed a ride! Just this, Miss Shit, you know how it is. Ready? For what? It is today and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? What? Are you even capable of listening, Zondar? Kiflump.
25 grand? Jesus. I mean, crap. Cannot wait. Like everyone else. Hands in the air! Knees on the ground! Right now! Okay. All right. Take it easy. Don't do anything stupid. We'll kill you. Don't move for three minutes. Stay still. If you move, we burn this place. to do this. You're my hero. No, like seriously, thank you. Babule is a tyrant. It ain't a cult. It ain't a cult. Actually, you can, and I'm paying it. Brother Zandar, I knew you'd come. I was told to come. Chris needs you to take this plane to initiate Boston. He awaits you in the east. Okay. Detailed as ever. Truth must be revealed gradually until you're capable of understanding it.
Eternal Brother Brother, you get the secret plane from the secret location? Yeah, I'm in the top secret baby blue plane. Where am I heading? Unknow it, and you'll know. Look, can you just know it for me so we can move this thing along? Okay, but that's entry-level stuff, bro. Sandy Shores Airfield, I'll meet you there. Kiflom. Kiflom. Let's talk! Don't be weird, man! Kiflam, bro. Kiflam. Got the money? Kiflam. Cool. And the plane? <laughs> Kiflam. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You're nearly there. It's gonna cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes in 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks. Oh! <laughs> you know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the nude. Just to prove we don't get turned on by it. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, Kiflon, man. Laters. Kiflon. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, there's a tree of truth. Now, he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. You'll need quite a bit of money. Someone will mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Kiflon. Come on, you've discovered great things. Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. Yeah, and you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me, as people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal for your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things, but it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kiflam. Kiflam, Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, I'm so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, let's quell my antithesis. It's easy, just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal and your attire, and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam! Kiflam. 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 
femme. Kefra. 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 Please, just shut up. Brother, father, son, Keflam. Who's this? The divine truth, Chris Formage. I fought many mythical beasts in that desert in my previous lives. You are very near to quelling your antithesis. I've been following your progress very closely. You have? I'm everywhere all at once. One more mile, and you will have arrived at where you are. Make me proud, Zandar. Craft be praised. Brother, brother, brother. What have I got myself into? Finish? No. Your journey is just beginning. Have you cast off the cane? Have you observed your inefficiencies? I guess so. Then they no longer exist. You are ready. Ready for what? To make another investment in yourself. Bring a generous tithe to the center in Vinewood, and I will personally receive you. Welcome, Zandar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the tract here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today... I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm 4. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. Ah, Kiflan. Then you and I can write the tract. Kiflan. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kiflan. Now, are you ready to write the tract? Kiflan. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraff is very impressed with your progress. Ah. Kifla. Stay in 
Convoy Zondar. Chris is placing a lot of trust in you with this assignment. Keep flung. Zildor, do you copy? What is your ETA? I'm coming in the land now. Ah, yes, brother. I see you. Excellent. How much money is in here, anyway? Why would that concern you? Any amount is insignificant when weighed against the value of absolute understanding. After all we've done for you, you can consider your enlightenment revoked, you son of a bitch! And you can consider this my refund. Don't you realize how powerful I am? I make or break Vinewood careers. I will destroy you. Gotta go, brother, brother. Kiflam. You are unsavable. You will be the fertilizer of the Tenth Paradigm. Never gonna get used to the silence. Hotels are swinging with parties, and you're not invited. Cult news. Controversial cult leader Chris Formage has fled the Epsilon Center, allegedly with a large sum of money. We'll continue to bring you more on this story if nobody kills us first. Stop by hopping Vinewood Hotels like the Gentry Manor and the Hookah Palace, and you will see the beautiful people of this city mingling, partying, and trying to find work in another film. But who is actually staying at these hotels? Mostly it's not tourists, but celebrities who live nearby but decide they need extra pampering during film shoots. Celebrities argue that's the mark of success, wasting other people's money. This was Weasel News.
It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? According to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. And you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. Taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. 